Okay, so I'm afraid we haven't seen much increase in ambition from last year, certainly not the level we need. And of course, that means that every year we delay, we're going to see it even harder to actually meet the 1.5 degree goal. It's getting to the point where we'll virtually have to switch off emissions overnight if we're actually going to make it, which makes it all the more imperative that countries recognize that we will generate more carbon dioxide than we can afford to dump in the atmosphere and still meet our climate goals. So we have to refocus on getting rid of it. Well, the UK obviously has a massive opportunity, both because we could be a technology leader in this space and we should be a policy leader in this space. We seem to be just sort of muddling along at the moment. Uh, it is a shame because I think the government could, could be doing far more. Um, in particular, we've got an opportunity to lead Europe in getting rid of carbon dioxide because the best place to get rid of carbon dioxide permanently in Europe is in the North Sea, under the North Sea, back where the hydrocarbons came from. So we could be clubbing together with other North Sea countries like the Netherlands and Norway to start a carbon disposal alliance to actually address the problem we are going to make far too much CO2 to dump in the atmosphere. But it's not happening. Well, this particular COP is not about emission reduction targets primarily. It is about adaptation and about loss and damage. I think we've already seen loss and damage has made it onto the agenda, which is important. It's an acknowledgement that countries are suffering irreversible loss due to climate change already, and that we, the historical emitters, have a responsibility, in my view, an obligation to actually address that. People are being careful about saying it's not compensation, it's an expression of solidarity and all that sort of thing. But at the end of the day, someone's going to have to clean up. What I think people have to realise, particularly young people, is this is a solvable problem. The cost of actually recapturing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and sticking it back under the North Sea, which is the most expensive way of dealing with the problem, would add four pence per kilowatt hour to natural gas costs in the UK. Right now, we're mostly paying around 30 pence per kilowatt hour. So in that context, why aren't we more focused on requiring the companies that are making out like bandits right now, supplying us with fossil fuels, getting rid of the waste their fuels generate? We should establish the principle that from 2050, ideally sooner, you should not be allowed to sell products that cause global warming.